Hi everybody, my name is Alex McGregor, and in this video we're going to learn how to calibrate the polar scope and the laser that you are going to want to use with your Nomad Star Tracker. One of the coolest things about the Nomad Tracker is that it can use the scope and the laser pointer to align to the North Pole or South Pole, and they can be used in unison at the same time. But when you get them from the factory, they might not be perfectly in alignment. They might not be looking perfectly straight. Who knows why it may have bounced around in shipping. It may have came out of alignment from the factory, but nevertheless, both of these are adjustable and we can fine tune them during the day before we head out at night and try to shoot the stars with them. So the first thing we're gonna be uh, adjusting is the laser. So I'm gonna take this bracket apart. So we're just using the laser on the Nomad. So let's take just a moment to examine different parts of this laser. And before we start examining, I'm going to take the battery off out because if we uh, turn that on while we're looking into the business end, that would be bad for all of us. So when we have the uh, cap on the adjustable cap on the front of the laser and we look through into the business end of it, we can see in there a little brass ring where the beam of light actually comes out of. And on mine, it's not quite perfectly centered in the opening of the laser. But thankfully there's these adjustment screws that will push this housing in the X and Y axis. And adjusting these, playing with the tension on all of them will help us to get a really accurate alignment of our laser. So the tools that we need to do this First one is a 2.5 millimeter hex key. The next are a tape measure and a Sharpie, some kind of marker. And you'll also need something to mark on. So for this, I'm using a paper bag that I'm going to tape to the wall. So the idea here is that we're going to attach our pointer to the Nomad, send that beam through to the paper bag, and then spin the gnome, or spin the pointer as it's in the tracker and see if it is just staying in one constant spot or if there's a bit of a circle as we spin it. Because if there's that circle, we know that beam isn't pointing true. So first things first, we're going to remove the adjustable tip from our laser. We're going to grab our connector bracket for the Nomad and get the laser nice and snug in there. Now we do want the laser tight in the bracket because we're going to be using the threaded part of this bracket to do the rotation. If we just spin the laser in the bracket, it has a lot more play. So this is definitely the way to go. So now we're going to attach the bracket into the Nomad and we can see as we spin it, it's still really consistent and it's not wobbling at all. So this will give us an accurate depiction of where that beam is pointed. Now we're gonna set our battery back in and get to work. Now we have our very scientific bag taped to door and I have the laser pointer in the Nomad. And as I spin it, see how it's going in that circle? So we need to fine tune that laser so it's not spinning in that circle anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the top, the bottom, the left, and the right of where that laser is pointed in the circle. Now I'm turning the laser off and I'm gonna find it, my tape measure and get an exact center for this. So that makes good sense. My measurements are about four inches between those two points, top and bottom. So now we just need to uh, adjust our screws using that hex key to get that laser to spin dead in the center. All right, now after a good bit of playing, one tape fiasco and a dead laser battery, I finally got this to spin really nicely right in the center. So here's a few pointers that I've kind of learned. When trying to adjust it to get to this center mark and the laser is hitting on these outside points, when you are making an adjustment, you can see the beam will move left or right. You don't want to move the beam from like the far left point all the way to the crosshairs, you really want to try to move it about halfway and then that will get your vertical alignment centered there. And then when you spin it, you'll still see a little bit of play, but then you want to move from 
the top or bottom, if you get it up here, you wanna move it down about halfway. So you'll have a new point of alignment and then you can adjust your laser to, or adjust your Nomad to point the laser right at the middle. And then you can see it'll probably still have a little bit of a circle around there. You just don't wanna move all the way from the uh, exterior diameter of your, or circumference of your circle right to the center. Go about halfway top and bottom. Yeah, it does take a good bit of playing and it's kind of frustrating, but it is very doable because as we see now, she's spinning real nice right in the center. If you found this video helpful so far, please give me that thumbs up, hit subscribe. There's gonna be a ton of more Nomad videos coming out soon. All right, so we got our laser calibrated. Now it's time to talk about the polar scope. Now, all the tools we need to calibrate our polar scope is a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench and a view out a window. You're going to attach it to the Nomad tracker, just like you would to shoot the stars and point it at an object, rotate it, and see if it is making a perfectly still circle or if there's kind of a little bit of wandering in the reticle. But because this polar scope has such a big man magnification power, we can't do it looking at something as close as our wall inside of our house. So for this, we're gonna need to look out a window. So when you're looking out the window with your polar scope, find either the, a point on a neighbor's house, a faraway tree, something like that, that you can dial in to the center of that reticle for your reference point, what you're gonna be rotating around. So for what we're going to be looking at today, we're gonna to be imagining a neighbor's house out across the way and find a point, something like this, like the chimney, or maybe a point like right here on the roof, and you're gonna to wanna to put your reticle dead on the center of it. For this example, we're gonna use the chimney. So if you can see right there how the a reticle, the center of it is right on that chimney. Now we want to make sure that when we spin it, it's not gonna wander off of there because if it wanders off something like that, as we rotate it, we know that we're not properly aligned. So we need to make our adjustments a lot like how we adjusted the laser so that this always stays right centered on that chimney. So for this example, we're gonna be using the tip of this telephone pole that is a few hundred yards away outside my back door. And yes, when you look through the reticle of the polar scope, everything is inverted and that is expected. So when I spin the polar scope, let's see how she does. So I'm gonna do a 90 degree spin. And yep, we can see that the center mark on the reticle has moved a bit. I'm gonna spin another 90. And there, we can see the correction that we need to make. So again, we wanna move the center point of our reticle halfway towards the top of that telephone pole. So after a little bit of playing, we can see that our polar scope is aligned really well as I spin it. It's staying super close to the top of that telephone pole. So now we can use our polar scope with confidence knowing that it will get us accurately aligned to the North Pole. So that is still a properly annoying process, but here's a few tips that might make it a little bit simpler. So it can be a little bit confusing to figure out which one of the screws you need to tighten or loosen to move the polar scope into better alignment. So this is a representation of what it might look like if you're spinning that uh, polar scope, you might see your reticle move around something like this. And then we have these three uh, Allen keys that can push the elements inside of the polar scope around. So if you know this is the bottom of the circle that spinning your uh, reticle moves into, you know that you wanna push it this way, halfway back into the middle. So the way you do that is you'll loosen these top two screws just a little bit, maybe a quarter of a screw or so, a quarter of a twist, and then you'll tighten this bottom one, the same quarter to half of a twist. And as you do that, you'll see this circle should move up. So whatever direction you want it to move, you loosen the other two and tighten the one. And that 
after coordinating that, you can work it into where you're getting that really tight circle. So I hope this video has been helpful. Yes, it's a bit of a frustrating process. I wish these things were perfect as soon as they arrive, but you never know. They may have gotten bumped around in shipping, but thankfully we're able to fix them on our own. And then maybe once a year or so you can do this process again, test everything, or if you ever see that you're getting star trailing that you cannot figure out, go ahead and see if your uh, laser or polar scope are out of alignment, because that could be a really simple solution to your star trailing issues. Before I go, if you've noticed this hoodie, Cosmic Colorado hoodie, they're the ones that I'm making to help support the 14ers project. If you'd like to purchase a hoodie, a t-shirt, a phone case, there's links down below. So next I'm going to be doing a full on tutorial, how to set up, how to shoot with the Nomad tracker. It is a beautiful little star tracker that is replacing the move, shoot, move. And I'm super excited to use it. I've gotten great results and I know that you can too. All right, that is all for today. Please like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye, goodbye.